Hello, so today I have a small uh, haul for my residential area in my city. Um, let's see what's inside. Just a few pieces for my city. So these are, these are base plates. The reason that I've been waiting so long to uh, work on my residential area is that these have taken about a month to um, get to my house. They've taken a really long time to ship. So these are 16 by 16 base plates. Yes, base plates. They are not the plates. Um, you might recognize that they are the same color and size as the new road plates. That is because I am going to um, I'm going to use these with the road plates. I got four of these so that I can make up a whole um, whole 32 by 32 base plate if I wanted to with these. Um, and I can also use them separately. So I have some interesting ideas for these. I also got some regular 32 by 32 uh, light bluish gray base plates. Uh, these are nice. I got these from, I got all these pieces from Legos, um, bricks and pieces on their website. Do th they do not sh sell these um, like they do with the bright green ones. Uh, they used to, but they discontinued that, these as a set. They used to sell these individually, but I managed to find them on their website uh, under the bricks and pieces. So these are nice. I got two of these. Um, I will be using three for the residential area, but I already have one, so that is my haul. Today I have another tip or way to build with these new Lego City road plates. I purchased some of these same size and same color uh, 16 by 16 base plates, so these are thinner um, these are the same height as standard 32 by 32 base plates. So, let's say you are building a city like mine. I have taken a section from the far corner of my city just to work on it. Um, but I'm working on it here. But let's say you have a city and it is built on base plates. As you can see, we have, here's a white base plate and a light blue gray base plate. My city is built on base plates. Um, so let's say you want your uh, road plates to be on base plates. You want them to be same height um, as a base plate or compatible at least with the height of the base plate. Um, what you can do is take the same size, you, you can do any color really, I just picked the same color to make it match, base plate, and you can put it on there. Okay, kind of takes two hands to do, but I put two of these road plates onto base plates as you can see. It's hard to see, but you can see the bottom is a base plate. Um, and what you can do with these is you can easily rearrange them. They're on their own base plates. So you can change up your layout in your city if you want to. You can plan ahead. The way I did it here, it's on a connect, it's on one base plate with the building. So I can't easily change the layout, but I can with these. And then, here it is, because it's on a base plate, you can easily line up with things that are already on base plate. As you can see, these um, studs line up. They're not off. See, it's not off at all on height slightly, because I know when you put a plate next to a base plate, it's off slightly. But this method, 
makes it really easy to change the layout and really easy to make these compatible in the city. And you can just pop these in. Put another tile. Pop it in. Then you can easily take one of these off. And if you wanted a curve, you could change it. And look, it already lines up because it's on its own base plate. Well, that's all for this um, uh, quick tip with the new 2021 LEGO City row plates. Um, I got them from Bricks and Pieces on the LEGO's website. They have them in stock. Um, well, as I am speaking, so may not they might not be in stock if you go there. But check that out. And I will have more progress on this new residential area in the near future.